it was a little after 5 o'clock at night on Sunday, the 12th. Um, and look where I am. Look back where I am. My familiar spot. Today I'm actually happy to be here. Um, after uh, the last couple of days, I kind of didn't want to be here. Um, I'm uh, glad to be back, back, back um, inside the, the old blankie here. River blankie. Um, I guess I fell asleep around 10, and I was up again around 2. I, I don't expect to be awake for too long. Um, I, 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 I came in and I fell asleep. I didn't wash my face or get anything to eat or anything. So. Although, I mean, I had some eggs. Um, this morning, too, so. I made my nachos. Um, rubbed the shit off my face, um, which I need to. I have been noticing um, some pretty drastic improvements um, now that I've... Um, made it a uh, priority to um, get my uh, to, to, to not skip days I think that's the, way to, the best way to put it um, like I say there's so much inertia um, and just uh, putting things off when uh, you spend so much time not doing anything um, or not leaving the house anyway But, um, things are a lot better with, uh, when I'm, when I'm, um, paying attention to the, uh, when I'm ensuring I, I do the daily routine, I'm, I'm noticing improvements. As you can hear, um, I'm a little bit scattered, um, and, uh, I think it's probably... A good idea to well, like I said, I didn't I didn't really mention it um, on the night, or I didn't mention it last night. Um, I mentioned it in the morning, um, but um, so so I I, I did my um, little bit of cursory research, and um, my reconstruction of the night is that I didn't. I, I, I may have even just been out between sets. Like, it was really a small amount of time, because I remember watching all of the bands. So if I was out at all, it was for, like... Well, I mean, and, and I was. I know I was. Um, I know I had to have been out, because I, I woke up outside, um, and I don't remember going outside. I don't know how I got outside. Um... I remember dancing, and then I remember ending up outside in a chair. Um, I wasn't sick, and like I say, it, it wasn't for very long. Um, my grasp of the situation is that I simply needed to sit down, but... Um, they claim that I passed out. Or I was, I, I, they claim I was out for, you know. But I mean, I, it couldn't have been more than a few minutes, right? So, um. Anybody who, um, drinks knows that, um, Sometimes you have to sit down. And I really think that that's all there really was to it. That said, um, it's not like half, having to sit down doesn't mean you're always going to pass out. But what it does mean sometimes is that if you don't sit down, um, you, you, you could uh, find yourself in some problems. So. I mean, it's you, you get you get the signal, right? Your body says sit down. If you choose to ignore it, 
you might find yourself in some problems. Um, but if you do listen to it and you go and you sit down, um, you'll probably be just fine, right? Situation where you where you might not get the signal properly is if you're dehydrated and a little bit drunk. Um, I think we're looking at multiple factors. Um, dancing in a small room, um, hot air. But I also think um, that the cigarettes. Um, I have a history of passing out after I smoke a cigarette. Um, it's happened to me repeatedly over many years. Um, and I've kind of tied it to um, some kind of... Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's the worst when I smoke on an empty stomach. And I, I, I... The experience is that I kind of get overwhelmed and I have to sit down. Um... I've had episodes of this sort. Um, I've had them at school. I've had them walking back and forth from school. Um, I had one outside my grandmother's place and she near flipped out. But more often than not, it's just um, when I was a smoker, um, I'd go outside for a cigarette and then I would feel kind of an oozy feeling on the way in. And if I did not get inside to lie down fast enough, I would literally fall over and be unable to get up. And um, it's kind of almost like a seizure. Um, so I suspect. Um, that uh, the moment um, uh, of, a, of seeming unconsciousness that I experienced last night um, was not due entirely to drunkenness, although it no doubt did not help, but primarily um, due to other factors. Um, dehydration nicotine intake um, I ate before I left um, I was drinking beer I wasn't that drunk um, and I didn't black out um, and, and it was a very short amount of period of time when I was out so these factors put together are not um, consistent with my experiences with blackouts in the past. I'm not going to blackout drinking beer. I'm not going to blackout for 10 minutes. And I'm not going to um, just go back to doing things. Um, like, if I'm out, I'm out, right? <laughs> so, um... It was more of just a moment of weakness. Um, these moments of weakness are not strange to me. Um, these are things that I experience fairly frequently when I'm out. Um, but it seemed to have hit just hit me a little bit harder. And um, I fainted. I didn't I, I don't think I passed out due to drunkenness. I know I didn't black out. I think I fainted. And uh, I then found somehow found my way outside and then went back in and finished the night. So it would have happened some sometime around midnight.
can't uh, state that with uh, much more certainty than that. But sometime around midnight. And uh, that's that. Um, what am I going to do for the day? Um, probably not much. Um, that four hours worth of sleep was not enough. Um, it was just enough to uh, get enough energy to get something to eat. Um, so um, I, I'm going to try and uh, just mess around a little bit on the internet. Um, maybe do a little bit of rebuilding um, if, if, if I'm alert enough. I doubt it. I'm probably just going to go right back to sleep. Um, and I will talk to you tomorrow.